Hi, how are ya? So today we are crocheting a top sweater top sweater. I'm kind of conflicted about calling it a sweater because when I think of a sweater I think of warmth and I don't think you should wear only this if your desire is to be warm. Then again it's made from yarn and somewhere inside my head anything made from yarn is like a sweater especially when it's long sleeved. That, that was just a side note. Moving on, moving on. Today we are crocheting a top, a spiderweb top to be specific. I will pop up on the screen my inspiration image. This garment is a number nine spring summer 2005 night crawler sweater. I believe I got that right. I really hope I got that right. I am not referencing anything in front of me, but I believe that's what the caption said. So I hope I am correct. So I decided to make mine in white just because I thought white would be easier to show on camera and I was right I was right I was definitely right about that but I do want to make a black one. Oh, I also want to make a chunky white yarned one I have a lot of work ahead of me but for now let's dive into this sweater tutorial process video process video experiment okay anyways okay so this is one of my mock necks turtlenecks it has my desired fit for the spiderweb sweater So we're gonna start with the spiderweb motif. The pattern I'm using is by this video I'll put on the screen. I'm gonna make a slip knot. And we're gonna chain six. Five. So we're going to make it into a circle by slip stitching into the first loop. So we enter the first loop, yarn over, so we have those two and we just pull that one through there. So we've got a circle. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. So now that we've got that, we're going to make 17 double crochets into the circle. So we're going to yarn over. We're going to go into the middle of the circle grab some yarn and come out so now we've got three loops on the hook gonna yarn over pull through two so now we've got two on the hook yarn over pull through two and we have our double crochet so we're gonna make 17 of those into here I have done one I have 16 more to go So we've done 17, we're going to close up the round, so going into the top we're going to grab some yarn and pull it through. So we've slip stitched it closed. We're going to chain 3. So this will be the height of this round. Then we're going to chain six. I'm going to skip two stitches, one, two, and do a double crochet into the third stitch. I'm going to chain six. Skip two, double crochet into that third one. All 
the way around i'll see you at the end the last one to finish off the round i'm just going to chain my six And then do a slip stitch into the top of the round so this is one two three remember we did three for the height so into the third one I'm going to do a slip stitch now we proceed I'm going to chain three so we cut that chain three we're gonna double crochet into the same spot I'm gonna chain eight and double crochet twice into the last double crochet from the previous round. Then we chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then double crochet twice into the previous double crochet from the previous round. And we're gonna do that all the way around until we finish this round. Okay, so we're on the last one. I've chained eight and I'm gonna slip stitch into the top of the start of the round to finish it off. Okay. So there we go. So the next couple of rounds are all going to be the same. The only difference is the number of chains per round. So this is the first round was six. This is eight. So you add two each round. So the next one will be 10 and then 12 and 14 and 16 and so on and so forth until you reach your desired size. I ended up stopping at a chain 14 round. And this is the camera. Thank you, camera. This is the last stitch. So I'm going to pull that through, cut off the end, and tighten. So we're done with this one. Okay. So this is the second one. As you can see, I've done one, two, three, four. I've done four rows so far. So I'm entering the last one. I am going to attach the motif. At two points so I'm gonna attach them together at two points so we're gonna start with a chain three so now after the chain three I'm going to double crochet into the other motif along here so yarn over enter into the other motif So we've got three, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go through the last ones, right? And then I'm going to double crochet into the unfinished motif in the same spot. So now they're attached. So I am going to continue working on this one. I was on a 6, 8, 10, 12. I was, I'm going to chain 14. Because uh -huh. I was on a chain 14 on the unfinished one. So chain 14. So we're going to double crochet. Like we always do. Okay. So we've double we've done one double crochet. Then we're gonna attach it to the other motif again. Double crocheting into the other motif. Is 
Then we're going to double crochet for the second time into the unfinished motif. I really hope this is all making sense. So now the two motifs are attached. I'm going to finish the last round of the unfinished motif. Then we'll get back to you. Okay. So I've done my last chain 14 for the unfinished side. And I'm going to slip stitch into the start of the round. Slip stitch. Then we're going to finish it off. Snip. And pull. So now we've got those two. So basically what we're going to be doing is using whichever top you've chosen as a guide for attaching the motifs. So this is what I've been working on. It's not the one that I used to show you as an example, but it's made the same way. You can see that they're not all even. Here's the one that we just made, and I'm going to find a way to attach it. Maybe there. Like that. Or maybe not like that, because I need to make one that will attach here. So we're just going to sew them together. So, this is not a sewing project. We're going to crochet them together. So now we're going to crochet more spiderweb motifs to form the sleeve. I forgot what it was called for a second there. So we're going to form the whole sleeve. Finish the front, the bod, um, the body, as well as the two sleeves, and I want to now move it to the back. So what I'm going to do, what's going to happen is, I'm going to continue to crochet the spiderweb motif, attach them around these points, shoulder down, and then round. So I bought them again, and then I'm going to fold them over towards the back, and then we'll work on the other side. I'll show you what I mean if none of that made sense. <laughs> see that we've crocheted over the edge along the sides oops sorry along the sides under the arm and the top of the arm leaving the bottom and then the neck hole so now we're gonna fold those extra pieces to the other side I'm also gonna pin them down and then we start finishing the other side
but now we're gonna work on filling these spaces where they touch I'm just gonna use a slip stitch to attach it together where there are larger gaps but there aren't too big I'm going to attach them together with a chain and then where there are large gaps I'm going to create more spiderweb motifs to fill in those spaces so like over here and of course the rest of the bodice so we're just gonna get to it so another thing to mention is that I am going to be crocheting from each of these points so the each of these bars sections I'm gonna be crocheting from there because if you don't it curls it curls in so in order for it to stay down like that I'm gonna crochet from each of these sections from each of these areas so you can see over here there's some curling so I'm going to attach this section to this section from that point and that point same thing over here here to here here probably still there because that's where it matches so like that so you want to make sure you get each of those sections so you avoid curling Have a great time!